Hi, my dear YouTube fragrance friends. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna have a very, very peaceful, very peaceful guys review about my Al Rehab fragrance collection that I have. So I already talked about it before, but this time I have some kind of different setting and I hope guys that it will be kind of maybe more explanatory for you. So um, I will share with you my experience and also I will read uh, a little bit more into those notes, uh, which I kind of not always do because uh, I kind of um, prefer to speak about experience, you know, what I felt throughout the day while wearing perfumes but let's start with um, this type of collection and i hope you guys are feeling fantastic today i hope you are doing well let me know if there is anything interesting you know like are you interested guys in al rehab perfumes i bought these perfumes because i was uh, very fascinated by the price that it said and basically the price is majorly what attracted me into this brand like but was i surprised about it um we will discover you know in this video guys so uh, i will start guys with one of my favorite perfume so my favorite perfume as you can see it's sultan you know sultan sultan is the perfume guys that i like you know that i like from a rehab and why it's because guys it's light little bit sweet kind of little bit feminine and it's one of those that little bit you know that i would like to grab you know if i would need to so sultan and let's let's say you no know, let's put it let's put this perfume sultan Let's put this perfume right now and guys I would like to read it for you about Sultan Sultan. The packaging is just kind of like that guys. Sultan, you know, um, Al Re Al Riha brand. So let me read about this particular perfume guys. So basically guys it's woody, you know, aromatic, warm, spicy, powdery, fresh spicy musky citrus and it says it's for man and for woman guys so there is like a cedar juniper musk bergamot sandalwood sandalwood cardamom cinnamon and vanilla so you can feel this type of vanilla sweetness there there is some kind of note that is very interesting i wonder would that be junif juniper which i don't think i ever smelled before guys the price was really outstanding it's super super cheap like Mm, this perfume you know will not surprise you perhaps too much but it surprised me maybe mm, the most out of all of these perfumes you know that i have because of the pleasantness that it has but will i repurchase it guys no i will not repurchase it because to experience one bottle is good enough but i really actually i really like this guys i like sultan perfume and then we're gonna go with another perfume which is sabaya or shabaya or whichever way you say so uh, this particular perfume you know shabaya guys and the packaging of shabaya you know would look um, let me see if i can just kind of show you shabaya is like this guys shabaya you know and it's kind of popular like on the recommendations it always recommends this perfume for some kind of reason you know and um, so basically it's citrus there is rose uh, there are green notes fresh and floral to me actually what i felt that is kind of jasmine with strawberry but actually i might be wrong there is just probably rose in there Mm, kind of like a you know maybe like there are some sweet notes in there that makes that rose seem to be as a strawberry to me you know so you know rose green notes they, they don't go in detail there too much i don't think longevity is like uh, really long you know it's kind of moderate so basically one person says that um, it smells cheap you know like cheap perfume mm, some people say that it's mesmerizing like some people smell tuberose and jasmine i definitely feel jasmine in there some people say it's absolute favorite from a rehab mm, kind of i don't know guys this perfume i didn't wear it a lot but also it didn't surprise me a lot so that would be the situation another perfume that we will see right now will be ryan black so that would be guys this perfume 
Ryan Ryan black perfume the reason I bought it because I I you know read this type of review that it was saying you know this hairdresser basically was used to always wear on the wrist of the hand you know Ryan black Ryan black and uh, this hairdresser guys like um basically uh, would receive compliments and people would start asking you know what uh, is this person wearing so through the reviews like this guys i kind of was tempted to buy this perfume i was thinking maybe it will be some kind of like a like perfume with oud that will be quite nice to experience from you know from from this brand what it smells guys it smells powdery you know it smells powdery to me guys this perfume ryan black powdery and let, let me read it for you Ryan Black so basically it's a masculine warm spicy woody soft like kind of woody soft but powdery too so it starts pleasantly light with the green tea and berries then there is like a sandalwood and musk uh, and then basically there is vetiver like I wish there would be more vetiver to be honest uh, but there is not a lot of vetiver and uh, what else it says uh, basically you know not much basically it doesn't say that much about this perfume I think it's cheap but actually you know if you like type of light perfumes that doesn't last long and these bottles are very nice actually to put it in your bag you know and whenever you just want to refresh yourself you guys can really go with these type of perfumes you know and then another perfume is gonna be Dalal Dalal perfume so that's the bottle guys Dalal perfume is this one that's Dalal Dalal and the box looks like that concentrated perfume so what does it say about the lal guys let's see what does it say so the lal is caramel vanilla sweet sweet woody powdery balsamic warm spicy and um, it's for women and men this dalal perfume guys to me smells a little bit more like feminine because like as it says there like you know there is vanilla there is uh, caramel sweet basically it smells a little bit like a cookies or like a some kind of cookies you know very sweet vanilla cookies which is very pleasant actually i think this perfume like at the beginning i really felt that type of synthetic sweetness but within time actually i think if you layer this the loud perfume with something else it can be quite nice you know like it can be even nicer guys than some other type of strong oud perfumes you know or you could layer actually this perfume with oud perfumes those that you cannot uh, kind of that you don't wear that much for example i am thinking to layer dalal with let's say shekel sujuk or opulent oud you know the black bottle because they are a little bit harder to wear you know these perfumes so i'm thinking to layer this you know it's, i can't even layer it because its amount is very small it's a roller bottle so I'm thinking guys to roll it you know <laughs> and then guys what else we have silver we have silver I show you I show you silver now so silver as you can see is this one and this particular perfume and silver is one of those you know kind of talked a lot perfumes guys that's the you know that's the that's the packaging guys silver it's talked a lot uh because it's a dupe for some kind of creed creed perfumes maybe it's virgin island or virgin waters or something and um, so it says citrus fresh aquatic green musky floral woody powdery so when you spray it at first it, it kind of comes as a burst of type of fresh citrus type of a little bit mixed with aquatic feeling and it, as i always say it really reminds me of those type of in the mountain you know cold icy waters that are going from the top you know to down those type of waters uh, like river you know icy river and it really reminds me of that Mm, it says basically for women and for man, you know, and um, what else does it say, guys? Like um, Greek perfumes, you know. It's a cologne, basically. It says 
cologne metallic smell yeah actually metallic smell can really be that it's very cheap guys very very cheap perfume the longevity wasn't that great on me but on some people say that it's quite good this longevity on me wasn't that great guys but that's all guys um that would be my oh there is one more actually there is choco mask so choco mask choco mask is a very popular perfume guys choco mask i show you which one mm, choco mask guys would be this one i show you that's guys Ooh. This one, guys, would be Choco Mask. So Choco Mask is... Uh, I reached the best results layering this perfume with, um, you know, with uh, Ardell Zafran. Uh, this Ardell Zafran um, Midnight Oud, you know. I show, I reach you guys the notes at the moment. So basically there is... Um, I show you the box. Vanilla, you know, Choco Mask. So there is vanilla, guys. Vanilla, warm, spicy, chocolate, sweet, powdery, musky, cacao, amber, balsamic. The same for women and for men. To me, it was sm smelling like a vanilla and chocolate, you know. A little bit too synthetic, a little bit synthetic, you know. And um, it wouldn't be great on its own, guys. Like, it would feel like as if something is missing, you know, if you would wear it on its own. So, for that reason, guys, the best is to layer them. So, right now, guys, I will wish you to have a beautiful day. Let me know which perfume are you thinking to get or you have one already. And my favorite is this one, Sultan. Um, and uh, I like to layer choco mask guys I like to layer choco mask with some of the perfumes and I will tell bye bye to you guys like this video so I can meet you again in the future and let me know if there are any doubts you have and I will be back to you soon bye bye guys have a great day bye bye